na kusoma hii Biblia hakuna mtu ameandikwa katika hii maandiko hakupigwa vita Renowned city preacher Michael Joroge of Fire Gospel Ministry has passed away under mysterious circumstances leaving the online community buzzing with speculations This unexpected demise has ignited a firestorm of curiosity regarding the events leading up to his untimely death. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. The demise of Pastor Michael Joroge has sent shockwaves through the public. Reports indicate that the clergyman was not only deceased but hastily laid to rest in secret. According to Facebook sensation Mother Hinga, the pastor's passing was shrouded in secrecy by his family, who are evidently concerned about the news leaking to the mainstream and social media, considering the controversial nature of his reign. According to Mother Muhaki Hinga, this is what she said through her Facebook page. Pastor Njoroge dies buried like a thief. Yesterday, news that reached my desk revealed that five days earlier, the controversial cleric departed this world and was hurriedly interred at dawn to prevent any leaks to mainstream and social media. There were deliberate efforts to conceal his passing from the public eye, given how scandalous, cunning and audacious the pastor had been, Mother Muhaki Hinga said through her Facebook page. Despite our diligent attempts to reach out to the church using contact information from their social media pages, we have been unable to confirm the authenticity of Pastor Njoroge's passing due to continuous busy phone lines. A glimpse at Pastor Michael Njoroge's social media profiles reveal a curious pattern. He was last active on YouTube nine years ago, while his Facebook page remains devoid of any recent posts. His Twitter account too remains vacant. Now, the controversial figure first made headlines 11 years ago when his church was exposed for allegedly fabricating miracles. Investigative reporter turned politician Mohammed Ali conducted a jaw-dropping expose which implicated Njoroge in hiring a prostitute to impersonate a person with facial paralysis. The woman known as Monday claimed that she not only received prayers from Njoroge but also engaged in paid sexual encounters with him as part of the elaborate scheme to feign her illness. Aujui. Uyu nitamsaidia nimsaidie lakini na yeye atuku dhambi eh? kuna kanisa ulikuwa unaenda na mliongea maneno ya mchungaji sana wewe na mkasema mchungaji amerep amerep mtu eh ndio niligeuza mdomo kivipi nilikuwaje kwa niligeuza mdomo hivi kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni na akanipatia shilingi 2000 kanipatia shilingi 2000 nikageuza mdomo alafu nikamwambia nikatoa testimony hapa hapa ndio nakuchukua kila wakati kila wakati huwa ananichukua hapa pastor mwenyewe ama pastor mwenyewe alinichukua siku ya kwanza hapa mlijionaje na yeye tulienda shot mara ya kwanza alikuja kama customer following these explosive revelations Jorogus just experienced a significant decline in both followers and influence marking the beginning of his downfall The circumstances surrounding Pastor Michael Njoroge's death continues to remain shrouded in mystery, leaving many unanswered questions about the controversial figure's final days. May his soul rest in peace. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye-bye.